email stats to track. If you're unsure about email stats and what metrics you should be actively tracking in your business and marketing efforts, then stick around because that is exactly what you and I are going to cover here. As a matter of fact, it is not just about what email metrics you've got to be tracking on a regular basis, but also how you can boost those numbers higher. The truth, my friend, is a lot of people simply don't know about this stuff. They wonder why they're struggling so badly in their marketing and in their business and promotional efforts. So let's you and I get rolling on exactly what email stats you've got to track. What's happening? What's going on? I'm Jeff Blake from 10tononline.com. If you want to escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business, and launch a better tomorrow, then you're definitely in the right spot. All right, now we want to make sure that you are staying on track. We want to make sure that you are moving forward with your business and with your marketing and promotional efforts. So to help you along, I've put together for you an online business jumpstart guide. This is a completely free, easy to follow, downloadable, it's even printable PDF guide that gives you a solid structure and foundation for your online business and for your marketing. Your free guide gives you a step-by-step -step checklist to go from where you are right now to building your profitable and fulfilling business online. Your guide is packed with actionable steps and loaded with resources to really get you moving. So go ahead and grab it right now while it's still available over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. You don't want to miss it. Now let's move into the biggest email stats that you've got to track. Here's the first one for you, my friend. Email open rate. Your email open rate. Your open rate is as you would imagine, I hope, the percentage of your email subscribers who actually, you know, open your emails. Now, your email open rate is tracked individually. What I mean here is with each email campaign that you send out to your list. Or, if you want to, what you can do is you can calculate out an overall email open rate average. Now, truth be told, even though people voluntarily joined your email list, right? Not everyone will open all of your emails. It sounds odd, it sounds counterintuitive, but that is the truth. In reality, people are busy. Maybe they're away, who knows? Maybe they have something else on the go. Maybe they're saving all of your emails to read later, who knows? That said, there are some things that you can do to try and increase your email open rate. Most notably, and maybe most obviously, I don't know, maybe it's obvious to you, maybe it isn't, but the big one is to test different email subject lines. After all, of course, your subscriber who is on your list sees your subject line right away, right off the bat in their inbox when your email lands into their inbox and the subject line largely determines whether they are going to click and open your email and read it right away or save it for later or maybe even delete it without even bothering to open it. Delete it right away without opening? Ugh. Dagger to the heart, I know, it's horrible. Here's the second email stat that you've gotta track. Your email click-through rate. Now, if you don't know, your email click-through rate is the percentage of subscribers who click on links inside the emails that you send. So, for instance, if you're sending out an email campaign with a link or two to blog posts or videos or sales offers or whatever the heck, and you should be, by the way, you definitely should be, then you would want to track how many people are actually clicking through to whatever it is that you are sending them. Now, while your email open rate is certainly important and your click-through rate is also crucially important for you to track, there's one more email stat that is even more vital. This last stat is absolutely critical to your email marketing success and we've got to address it. And that's coming up next. First though, if you're ready to take the next big steps forward to increase your sales and really start driving revenue in your business, then here's what to do. Head yourself over to 10tononline.com forward slash sales. Now there, you're gonna find a full speed online sales seminar. This is a completely free self-paced online workshop. There you'll discover the real true meaning of what selling actually is. And it has nothing to do with the sorts of things that go on on used car lots or the person on the other end of the phone who's trying to sell you vinyl siding while you're trying to eat dinner. None of that stuff. None of that stuff is real, true selling. And I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised here. It has nothing to do with 
taking advantage of people or anything greasy or slimy or anything like that. In addition, you're gonna get some real world methods and strategies for increasing your sales. I really have to emphasize this in an honest, ethical way which is what real selling is really all about. We'll lock down for you a clear, actionable plan for you to move forward with your online business. Bring a notepad, bring a coffee. What the heck? You do not want to miss it. Next though, I said that there is a third email marketing metric that you've got to track that is absolutely vital to your success. Here it is. What I'm going to call your landing page conversion rate. Let me explain. What this means is the percentage of visitors who join your mailing list. In other words, of all the people who wind up coming to your landing page, what percentage of them actually sign up? Now, there are a number of ways for you to track this and monitor this. Let's say, for instance, on your website, you're offering some kind of what is referred to as a lead magnet or an opt-in offer. This could be I don't know, maybe a free report or a set of videos or some kind of a checklist. We've talked about this a lot in other pieces of content, so I'm not going to rehash it all here. Now, typically your lead magnet or your opt-in, whatever you want to call it, is going to be offered on your website on a landing page. Typically, there's just a simple sign up form, you know, name, email address, and some kind of a submit button. Now, here your conversion rate is the percentage of people who land on this page who take you up on your free offer. To calculate this, it's actually very simple. All you would do is take the total number of people who converted, who signed up, who took you up on your free offer, and you would divide that number by the total number of page views that your landing page got in a given period of time. Typically, this is done monthly. Now, as a matter of fact, you don't have to do this manually. You can actually set up a goal in Google Analytics, which makes it super easy. Let me give you a quick example. If your lead magnet landing page got a thousand page views, a thousand people landed on your landing page last month and 314 people took you up on your offer and subscribed to your email list, then simple math tells us that your landing page is converting at 31.4%. Now here, there are some things that you can do to try and get this percentage higher. And if you do, you can start doing some really cool, creative, wild, advanced marketing tactic stuff. But honestly, that is way beyond the scope of our conversation here today. For now, my friend, just know that this metric that we are talking about here, your conversion rate is of paramount importance, that you should be actively tracking it and to work to get this conversion rate as high as you possibly can. In the meantime, there you go. There are your email stats to track. Now, next, let's really get moving in your full speed online sales seminar over at 10tononline.com forward slash sales. I'll see you there next.